So basically I'm gonna use this cable roll, <laughs> cable roll, we say in Swedish, and uh, make a table. I think it's a nice uh, little table, but it's a bit unsteady because of uh, this pointing out. And uh, they point out here also, so the plan is to make a new tabletop over this and uh, sort of uh, make room for this and glue it back here. So we'll see. I'm going to use this as the tabletop, so I'm going to jigsaw this around here. I'm using the trustworthy green bosch. So just go around there. The thickness of this board is about the same as, uh, as that one. After sewing this uh, round circle, I'm getting a bit uh, hesitated, uh, which looks better. I think this almost looks better. More raw, rough st style. Yeah. Even though I'm gonna paint it, this might look too polished. Have to think about it. What do you guys think? Guys and girls, gals. So I'm just grinding it down. Got some nasty, I don't know what you call it as usual. But you know uh, the thing from the, the trees that is sort of geeky. It has been uh, grinning here, <laughs> floating here, and uh, some paper have, have caught in it. And the easiest way I think is just going about it with a knife, you know, try to get it off. It's a tedious work, but somebody's got to do it. So I've just painted the first layer on the top here, I'm gonna do the underside later and uh, here I'm painting away with, uh, with this uh, window paint from Jula here in Sweden, hardhead is that, it's white, it's an acrylic based color. And uh, yeah, gonna make it white here as a base color, and then we'll see uh, what what we, we come up with. So I'm just painting the outside, not the the inside. Since then, I have to dismantle it. I think it's a water-based color, so it doesn't smell much. Just a little. Other side. Got to sandwich it. Sand is still after sandpapering it. Getting away some of the dirt. So mixing here, trying with one hand. And I go on like this. 
you want it faster I keep it higher up and you get smaller lines now we let it dry it's pure fresh so as you can see this cable uh, table has some screw nuts here that has to be cut out so I have done there that to the woods sort of to make it clear for for them I haven't decided if I should glue it on a, on a, another uh, wood uh, surface circle or if I should glue it directly, I I'm still to decide. But uh, yeah, here we have another one, and I just use a regular Amura knife. Where do I have it? There do I have it. So, so I just use a regular Amura knife to cut out uh, I think we have here we have also and be careful using this it's really hurt, easy to hurt yourself so time to paint it So I've just put some more white on and I'm gonna do uh, add an, a second layer now, a third layer it would be. Here are some tryouts on the other, they are not ready yet. On the mini drawer moppe, check out that video. So got the colors here, bought them on Lidl, cheap, cheap ones. And I just uh, let's try. So I've just uh, glued the pieces using this uh, wood limb, trellim we say in Sweden, and it's water, supposed to resist water, so it's uh, for outdoor use. So I decided to glue it on top of a, a circle board instead of just gluing it right directly to the, the cable. Uh, Roller, cable, cable roller. Hello, it's time to put on the last protecting layer. I'm not so pleased with it, but it looks looks okay. So it's hard, hard doing, sort of arty stuff. You never get pleased, and usually doesn't turn out the way you want it so I'm just doing this quick since these the colors might come off otherwise so this is varnish it's matte varnish if I haven't bored you out with that info before which I probably have And this is the final result I'm using it in my van. It's a little dining table so you can have this mat on also to protect it a bit more. Yeah, so 
pretty pleased with it okay so that's it thanks for watching i hope you like subscribe and all that comment what table do you like bye bye